Hi guys, welcome to For Those Who Code. In this video, we'll be learning how we can add overview section to our GitHub profile, which looks something like this one, which I have currently. It looks amazing, isn't it? It's a recent updated feature added in GitHub, which we will take into look and make this one ourselves as well. We will also add an add-on of profile hits right here, which looks something like this one which lets us know how many people have visited our profile. So let's get started. Uh, before moving ahead, I would like to uh, delete this particular readme file. It's a markdown file, first of all, which, uh, which is written in markdown format. Actually, it's a public repository. So first of all, let me delete this repository so that I can just start from scratch and you can also know how I did it as well. So now you don't see any overview sections in the top. First of all, what you got to do is you got to the main screen of GitHub and then from here you create a new repository. And that particular repository name needs to be the same username that you have. Currently I have Sean Das Me as the username. And after you type the right username, you would see some pop-up like this one. You found a secret. It's a special repository that you can use to add readme.md to your GitHub profile. Actually, that's it. So you add a description here, and here is the description. And then, and then you should make this one public. So initialize with a readme and create repository then after we create this particular repository if we go and see our profile then we can see the overview section in the top here hi there so we can also go ahead and edit this one so after clicking on the edit part we can see a pre-made template section over here and also we can see the preview changes right here as well which states hi there only. So for the backup, I have already copied and pasted my markdown files. So I'll go ahead and copy them and bring it here. I brought it here and I just pasted it. So if you're not familiar to writing markdown files, then you can also go ahead and check the useful site like stackedit.io, where you can find a markdown editor which reflects the files over here and you can see how uh, your markdown file you you just write it here uh, reflects in actual format so uh, to add some links to your github um, overview file uh, you can use something like uh, the array syntax which states the name check it out and inside bracket you can add your link as well so which is right here this one and then you can also uh, add some hits that I uh, talked before. So uh, uh, to add some hits, what all you got to do is you got to go to uh, this particular website, which is hits.dwyl.com. So here you can add your username, which is sun-me, and then your repository name, which is your username as well. And after typing on this one, and copy this one right here and paste it over to your readme.md file right here. So yeah, I just generated the heat count as well and I added uh, some of my basic info over here uh, where uh, you can find um, my blog, my uh, Twitter, my YouTube channel and uh, where you can send me emails as well. So yeah, that's it. Uh, and finally commit the changes and then if you move towards and go to your profile page, then you must see uh, the reflected changes over here as well. So yeah, we did it successfully. This is how you can add uh, some uh, markdown files inside the overview, which is a recent feature added in GitHub. So guys, I hope you got some initial ideas on adding your own overview uh, inside your GitHub profile. Thank you so much for watching my videos. If you guys want to learn more about code design and anything more, 
please like, share and subscribe with a click down below. I'll be trying to make more better videos like this one. See you in the next one guys.